So again, I want to show you what it was like in, inside there. So two connectors right here. Get the two screws out right there. And we have this in here. Four screws inside there. And then the control panels back here. All right, then we have the motor here, which isn't a whole lot to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this four screws out right there so I can get to the battery. Okay. So now once we get to the battery, we're going to see if the battery's the issue while well, the motor finally dumped. All right, that's what we got going on. So there's the plate that goes on the back of that. There's a control panel that plugs in. It's pretty sedentary, simple, Terry, simple. It just plugs in there. All right. Can you sound it? Alright, gotta make sure that you guys are seeing what I got going on. But sometimes you can't. So take these through. Magnetic screwdriver helps, so they do not fight with the screws. Alright, this guy just comes out of there. Like that. And then this little battery pack should slide up out of there. Right? Just like that. That's kind of bulged up. So maybe it is damaged. Can you see it? Bumped up right there should be three batteries, three so it's double A's. But, 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 but. All right. I don't know if you can see exactly the thing is six volt. I can't see. Can you see it? And can you tell where I'm talking about? Swelling of the batteries on this side. This side smooth. This side smooth. Bulged right there, so I'm sure that that guy's tanked. Let me see if I can get my meter over here to show you how many volts are in it. Just use this kind of meter. Okay, it's at zero. Can you salt it? Can you salt it? All right. 
red and <coughs> red and <coughs> red and black and black. and the pins It showed something, but I'm putting it backwards on there. Jeez, oh my hmm. Never seen seven. Yeah, it's seven one. I don't know if you see that or not. Seven one, seven point one on that guy. So what you can do you can plug it in on one connector. Of course, I'm not going to be able to. Pl Once I plug it in, I won't be able to, won't be able to show you guys much because. Of course, the wire is like way too small. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. this all the lights are on and it's red I don't know if you caught that or not you can tell that the switch is working because the test to do that is Shut it off. Unplug it. Shut it off. Lights all come on and it starts charging. Best way to see that that thing is that the switch is working is to turn it and then you can see it it lit up. Hope you've seen that. That means this is getting the connection with that. All right, we'll do that one more time for somebody. I've never seen it, and I can't see it. All right, disconnect. Turn the switch off. Put the power in. Lights come on. Click the switch and you should see that light light up on the bottom. See that three lights? That's telling you you're getting good connection between here and there. So I would assume if you're getting connection between here and there, you're getting power between here and that. But without this being charged up, this is not going to work. So my thing is, is if you find a battery, if you find a battery, you 
should be real careful with these connectors because they do not want to come apart. They're not very friendly. And you can look at all your pin connections here too. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at all these pin connections. I mean, there's no cold solder joint circles around them. Right? These are all in good shape. All we have is a small capacitor. This side, a bunch of circuitry there. I don't see anything wrong with this. But again, it could be. But if you have a battery that's swelled up, like these guys are, that just runs a red flag in me. So I can see if one of these guys are available, or the other part is take it apart see if I can replace one of these cells because they're just small cells like that all right let me bring you back when I find out what my options are it's supposed to be six volts it's at seven one so this should work this should run it but I don't think it does <laughs> 